is everyone, whether you are a working person or not. You may think that stress is a mental phenomenon, but do you know that it can take toll on your physical health? Currently in US, 40 million people are under anxiety disorder, out of which most of them are above 80, out of which only 36.9% gets the proper treatment. Stress increases flow of different hormones, namely adrenaline, norepinephrine, and cortisol. Adrenaline hormone is secreted from the adrenaline gland and commonly known as the fight or flight hormone. It helps us to make quick responses during stressful shift. Norepinephrine hormone also secreted from the adrenaline gland. With the help of the adrenaline hormone, it works the same way as adrenaline. Cortisol is named as the stress hormone. In normal human condition, cortisol maintains the blood pressure, blood sugar, and immune system. But in stressful condition, excess flow of the cortisol harms immune system, increases the blood pressure, blood sugar, and other problems. Prolonged exposure to stress can harm our skin, head, heart, pancreas, immune system, muscle, and for our research, we are using Soil Knowledge Dataset. In this dataset, 25 people participated in the research one. Two different types of writing and presentation was given and three different conditions on which they are asked to work on. Neutral uh, tasks had to be done in a predefined time, which is 45 minutes. In time pressure, the same task had to be done within two thirds of the time, which is 30 minutes. The interrupt condition, eight emails were sent on which you have to work and the do that. Here we're gonna talk about the current approaches to characterize heart rate variability. The statistical measure of the properties of RR interval, spectral analysis of heart rate, deterministic dynamical system assessment of heart rate, and approximate entry measure of RR in. In this section, we are going to discuss about the drawback of the current approaches. First of all, current approaches doesn't treat the ECG signal as a point process rather than as a continuous value signal. And the current processes are not able to analyze the heartbeat dynamics. Extra ECG signal from soil data set. Change the ECG signal to point process so there will be a maximum one spike per time interval. In this example, we choose time equal to 40 unit and we also choose delta equal to 4 unit. So we'll divide this whole time into 10 time interval. Here we calculate the WK, which is the UK minus UK minus 1. Then HK is the UK comma WK to WK minus P plus 1. The HK value in this example is 1, 3, 10, 8, 5, 6. Any is the whether there is a spike or not. Calculate the history dependent inverse Gaussian probability density function. Then calculate condition intensity function. Based on these two, we define prediction and update step. Finally, we calculate the mean error interval of the signal. When we run our algorithm on a subject and we plot the mean error intervals over the time in second and we found that the mean error interval in the neutral is lower than the interrupt and the time pressure condition. From the previous result, we can conclude that the heart rate also increases for the neutral condition than to the other two conditions. In order to select the right model with the right number of parameters, Akaiki information criteria of AIC formulation used on the Emily algorithm given by the recorder Barbarous website. As expected, each file has a different best model with different number of parameters for different conditions. We can conclude that the heart rate in the neutral condition is mostly always high. Point process algorithm also sensitive to outliners in the data. Choosing the right model with right number of parameters is vital for accurate tracking.